not much more that I can do for Nancy. Doctor, that doesn't mean that... No, but the best doctor in the world for her right now would be the sun. I didn't expect to see you till spring. Well, this is sort of an unexpected trip. You see, my friend here, Raggedy Ann, has something of extreme importance she wants to talk to you about. Why, I'd be glad to speak to her. Well, Raggedy Ann, what can I do for you this bright, sunny day? But it isn't a bright, sunny day down where we are. And I'm afraid something awful will happen to our Nancy. They say that you are the greatest doctor in the world. And I'm sure if you'll just see her, she'll get well. Please, Mr. Sun. Well, this is uh, rather embarrassing. Uh, you see, at this time of the year, the sun doesn't even shine bright in my old Kentucky home. That is, unless Cloudy moves out of the way and lets me peek through. Sometimes I get burned up about it myself. Wouldn't Mr. Cloud let you see our Nancy for just a little while? I'm sure if you ask him that way, he couldn't refuse. Now, if you'll just slide down this sunbeam, you'll find him on yonder cloud bank. Thanks awfully, Mr. Sun. Wait for Breezy to push him along. 
Where can I see Mr. Breezy? <laughs> Ain't that just like a child? Nobody done ever seen the wind. It's just there all the time. <laughs> I'd love to help, but I'm honor-bound. Not to blow clouds while snow's still around. Zero, not me, is the one to see. When he melts snow, then I can blow. Zero. That old icicle hangs on till the last day of winter. I must see Mr. Zero. I'm blowing his way. Glad to fly you there. Sit tight, Raggedy Ann. Take care. like a miracle. 